In this tutorial, we will be covering the keyframing extrusions feature. In previous versions of VizTitle, you could create extrusions and keyframe them by using the Scale Z control found in the 3D transform panel. The resulting back extrusion from the Scale Z control is very similar to the new extrusion control. However, if you do a front keyframe, it is completely different but in the right situation, a very usable effect. So let's create a title and go from there. You can use any font or word for this test. I'm using Times New Roman and the word extrusions. Type your word, then press the escape key to select the title, and then press the C key to center the title. Go up to the plugin icon and select the 3D text option from the drop down. When the plugin opens, select the model tab. This is the first tab in the right hand effects palette. You will see two drop downs with tick boxes. We will be using the panel labeled Extrude. If the keyframe buttons are not active, click each of the far left stopwatch looking buttons. Make sure the cursor is at the beginning of the timeline. You can manually move it to the beginning, or if both the left and right keyframe arrows are showing, click the left one, and it will return the cursor to the start of the timeline. For this exercise, we will run the extrusions for the entire clip. Go to the front extrude keyframe. Click the right arrow to send the cursor to the last keyframeable position on the timeline. Using either the slider, mouse wheel, dragging of the value, or typing in a value, change 0 to 300. Now play that. Now turn off the front extrude keyframe. Once again, verify that the cursor is at the beginning of the timeline. With the back extrude, let's start from the max and reduce down to zero. And then type in the value box the value of 1000. Click the right keyframe arrow and then type in the value of zero. Now play that. Click OK and return to the VizTitle timeline. One word of warning, if you extend or shorten the length of the clip, you will need to change your ending keyframe position from within the plugin panel. Click OK and return to the VizTitle timeline. Now play that. You can also do a combination of the front and back extrusions with the Scale Z control and the effects palette. This will give you some very familiar looks. Using these controls will add extra extrusion values to the existing settings. But the keyframe positions will remain the same. This is just another tool in the toolbox to create a fun text effect.